Hey everyone, today is Friday, the 15th of July. Uh, tomorrow I have a D&D game. Um, but, so, how I come up with topics for this is actually pretty simple. I do my routine, I sit down, I think for a second, and I turn on the camera and then start talking. Pretty simple. I don't write any scripts. Um, I just kind of, whatever comes to mind, blah. Uh, I suppose that if I did write scripts, I might have to slow down the uh, schedule some, but if I don't do this every day, I'll forget sometimes, or I'll go, eh, I can do it tomorrow. And then I'll, I won't be, this won't be as much of a daily diary, or what, what have you, a journal. Um, today I picked up my science officer in Star Trek Online again. He, when I left off playing him a while ago, he was Rear Admiral Lower Half 3. Um, and so I picked him up again this morning. I optimized some of his bridge officers and messed around with some of his stuff and kind of got everything the way I like it now and the way the new the combat system allows. And I'll be damned if he doesn't die really frequently. Like, my main does not die that badly. Now, it may be that, you know, I'm playing an Andorian on my main, and I'm playing a Betazoid science officer as an alt. That might be an issue, but I don't... My, I, I get completely, like, TPK, total party kill, uh, twice today, and it was just like, what the hell, what am I doing wrong? I have two freaking healers! I mean, the, the way my science officer has it, it's me, I have two engineers, a science officer, and a tactical officer. So, typically how it works for my science officer is, it's my science officer, me, two science officers, an engineer, and a tactical officer. For my tactical officer, it's pretty much the same thing. Tactical officer, me, two tech, an engineer, and a science. And if there's one science officer, that person has, like, all heals. Uh, and if there's two, I have some heals on one and some heals on the other and some buffs on one and some buffs on the other or debuffs or what have you. And the engineer is typically, you know maintenance drop a turret maybe i don't know i'm actually phasing out getting uh getting rid of the turrets um because of fighting the borg um and the tactical officer is yay look at me and then shoots back a lot you know that sort of thing so and then i'm the one who fills in the gaps so or no i'm also the one who starts all the fights so my engineer you know, he starts a fight by, you know, orbital strike or something. My science officer starts a fight with the, um, well, it used to be called gravimetric shift. Now it's called electrogravitic something or other. So I do the gravimetric thing, which roots and slows. And then I do, it used to be called thermal vent. Now it's called elect, uh, exothermic venting or something. I don't know, but it causes an area of fire to appear. So I root them, I set them on fire, and then I put radiation in the middle. And that's how my science officer starts. Now, as a beta Z, I uh, generate 20% less aggro than everybody. Just, that's as I am. My two science officers are also beta Zs, and they generate 20% less aggro. So essentially what happens is that the tactical officer takes way too much aggro, especially using draw fire, and then the engineer gets it, and the science officers happen to draw a ton of aggro anyways because they're healing. <sighs> I don't really understand it. Um, but I, my goal with this guy is to get him up to Vice Admiral 1 and then set him up so that I can just pick him up whenever I want to play a science officer, and bam, I'm good to go. Uh, likewise for my tactical officer. My engineer is the, not only the test bed, but my favorite character to play. I'm doing all kinds of accolades and stuff with him. Uh, recently finished killing 200 enemy flagships, and he has the legendary title over his head, so that's cool. Anyways, um, that's enough of Star Trek Online. I'm going to go downstairs and get something to drink, because I'm thirsty. Yeah. Until next time.